What do you think of that Miles Brown hit on Chris Trebler, folks? You're seeing it right now. He wraps up his legs. It looked completely unnecessary. He was he was falling, but he followed through. And that looks intentional to me. I, I hear you there. I'm interested but, in your take because I yeah, didn't hear you I, at the beginning of the show. My pure speculation, okay? Look, that's uh, that's why they pay us the medium bucks here, okay? Uh, pure speculation. I think Chris Trevler will be okay. I don't have any indication from O'Shea or the Bombers or anybody like that, okay? No reporting happening here uh, on this point. Pure speculation. I think he will be okay. Um, and I, I talked about it off the top of the show. So for those that uh, are, are joining uh, uh, a little bit later, welcome. Miles Brown's hit on Zach Kolaris in the Labor Day Classic, to me, was a penalty, okay? To me, was unnecessary and avoidable. This play, to me, was not unnecessary or avoidable, okay? Um, Miles Brown beats his man. There he is coming through, okay? Okay? On his hip here, that's the Winnipeg Blue Bombers offensive lineman's hand. He's taking him down. Miles Brown's leg right here, horizontal to the ground. There is nothing more he could have done to elevate his body or tackle Chris Streveler any higher, okay? To me, there is nothing wrong with that hit. It wasn't late. It wasn't intentionally low. It hurts Chris Streveler. You hate seeing that. But I had no issue with Miles Brown's hit in the Banjo Bowl. I did have an issue with Miles Brown's hit in the Labor Day Classic. That's the way I saw it. So, okay, fair. I mean, uh, you show video evidence that he couldn't really avoid running into Streveler and he's falling down. So he's, he's, his point of contact is going to be the knees and below, but here's what I wondered, Darren, and like, love to hear your take and people in the, in the live chat, your take to my eyes, not only did he fall into Streveler's leg, it seemed like he went a little bit extra and wrapped his arms around the leg as he went down which caused the injury. Oh, that was, yeah, no, sorry. It wasn't in the fourth quarter. It was the end of the third. Sorry, folks. Yep. That's my burning yep. point. But um, did, you, did you think he needed to wrap up Streveler like that? Needed or do you think to? he could have pulled, pulled up? I mean, look where his face is. How does he know if the ball's out? I have no issue with this. Okay. None. Okay. So you're Here's saying Miles you Brown. Don't... Yeah. Okay, look, I'll, I'll even, this is a, a, a wider shot from what we saw a second ago. What's it okay, called? The, this is what program. I see. Okay, there's Miles Brown. Is he being held? Yes. Okay. There's the hand on his hip. He's being taken down to the ground. He is doing everything he can to use the power in that right leg to drive towards the quarterback. Ball's in Chris Streveler's hands. You hit the quarterback when the ball's in his hands? Yes. Ball's still in his hands. Ball's still in his hands. Where's Miles Brown? Hand down here. Hand up here. Playing football. Where's Miles Brown? Chest is on the thighs. Where's Miles Brown? The ball is literally being released by Chris Streveler here. Well after contact. There is nothing wrong with this play. Hmm. I'm sorry. And I feel for Chris Streveler and it sucks. It absolutely sucks. I got no issue with this at all. I I think you make a very good point, Darren. And, and Oh, argue with me. Come on. People not, are relying on you. But, but here, here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing. I, I still... You still have the fact that the referee threw a flag. Now, are, do they throw a flag because it's a low hit, whether it's intentional or not? Is that do what they throw saying? a flag because it's Miles Brown? Well, do they? Is it is it roughing the passer if you tackle a guy the knees and below? 
It is. So your point is it's not intentional, but he still gets the flag. Is that right? He hasn't even fully wound up yet. Right, but is that what there you're he saying? Is. Now it's he's not wound up. And Miles Brown, Miles Brown is contacting Chris Streveler here. Looks like his hand is touching his chest. It looks like his Miles Brown's chest is touching Chris Streveler's knee and thigh area. Where is he hitting him? The ball is still in Chris Streveler's hands. He's hitting him in the thighs. And yeah, he comes down and kind of rakes down. Why does he down. get a flag? Why does he get a flag if he's hitting I, him I don't know. Eyes? I do not know. But I can tell you, as we break the film down, there's no issue with this hit. You can he's disagree with me, thigh. everybody in the live chat. Disagree with me. That, that's cool. Love the debate. If he's hitting him in the thighs, then why does Straveler's knee get injured? He hits him in the knees, which is a roughing the passer. You can't hit a, 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 play, a quarterback. In the knees. Isn't that a, that? Why did they throw the flag then? Yeah, I hear you. So you're saying they shouldn't have even thrown the flag for roughing the pass. I'm not saying anything about the flag. I'm telling you what I see. I'm not here to, uh, uh, you know, uh, chop up the officials and, and what they do and, and all that. I'm telling you what I see in the play. Last week in Regina, I saw an unnecessary hit to Zach Kolaris's head, okay? And Game Night disagrees. Schnitzi, you disagree. Uh, Chris Joyle, I haven't even read this. DB trying hard to be unbiased that he's going the other way. He's literally bucking the guy's knees backwards and most everyone is in agreement, even coaches, owners, players. Uh, owners? I, I, did I did I miss something? I don't I don't know. Did, did we hear from an owner? Uh, I think he's, he, maybe by owners, he's referring to Wade Miller. Yeah, but we don't know what Wade thinks of this hit because they showed him on oh. the screen. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what Wade has to say. Uh, apparently, there was some well, retaliation I don't if, against Wade. I don't know if Wade's going to say anything. Well. And I say he's not probably not going to say anything because uh, he probably got fined. We don't know for sure, but uh, Dave Naylor uh, alluded to that. Yeah, he, he got fined. So, so Darren, here's Doug the thing. says ending his contact below the knee. Yeah. Yeah. The ending of it is, but he didn't hit him below the knee. He hit him up high. He hit him in the thighs. I've showed this. Well, he uh, hit him in the thighs and, and came down on his knee. Well, so, so you're telling me when you tackle somebody, you tackle a quarterback, you have to hit him in the thigh and then let go before. Yeah. No, because if he, Sorry, if Zach, he doesn't Zach, wrap that's him not up, football. that's not football. But he wraps him up, Darren, regardless of where the yeah, ball is. Yeah, he wraps is, him up, and the ball is in Chris Trevor's hands. What is, the knee. what he is the... He can't wrap him up below the knee. He can't. That's illegal. That's why... He... Tell me tell me something, Schnitzi. Tell me something, okay? Was this a late hit? Was this was a low hit? Was it, it was one a... or both of those things? Tell me. I believe that it was a low hit. I think you have a very good point that the ball wasn't out of his hands. So I get why he tries to hit him because he doesn't see it and he's let, being pushed into him. Let's but, remember too. Well, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me being finish. Taken down. But it's a low hit because he wraps up as he's going down the thigh into his knee. He he's wraps playing him football. up. Which, but he's playing football illegally. You can't wrap. He didn't need to wrap him up. Who cares where the so, ball was? You what, do you want, what do you want him to do here? What, tell me I what want, you want him, him to, to do fall here. into Strebler. Uh, you know, he can't avoid that. Fall into Strebler, but don't wrap him up with your arms below the Zach, knee. Zach, the ball is in Chris Strebler's hands. You're telling a football player to not wrap up when the player he's trying to tackle has the ball? Not below the knee. He's not, not below the below knee. The, but Here's he the is, knee. Here's the knee. Play it forward. Zach, yeah, here's right the there knee. He's Zach, not. here's but the knee he and here's the down. knee. Look. Then he slides down. Yeah, because he's finishing his tackle. You can't expect but you can't a guy. finish the tackle below the knee. That's the rules. Zach, you cannot expect somebody to tackle somebody and let go the moment he gets, he starts up high in the thigh and the moment he gets to the knee, you got to like come off of him. I'm That's not, not reality. Him, but don't wrap not up. Not reality. Just, I, I think it is real. I, 
I never played uh, D line, but I think you can you can let up a little bit. You don't have to wrap up and close down his legs as you fall forward. He didn't need don't to have do to that. wrap up. How do you not wrap up when he's wrapped up and the ball is still in his hands? How do Doesn't you not not wrap up? Hands. What play it? He could have just left his arms kind of dangling there. It's coming here. Let's play it in slow motion. I'll tell you exactly when he should have let up. Right there. He doesn't need to wrap him up like that. So you're telling me his face is in Chris Streveler's thigh. Right here. Miles Brown's face is below Chris Streveler's waist. And he's supposed to know that the ball is gone. He's supposed to know I'm, in that. Not, I don't give a shit when the ball's gone. I get what you're saying that, so that he's, there it he's is. following through on the tackle. He's wrapped up. He's wrapped up. You're telling me the moment he's wrapped up and that the person he's tackling is still on his feet. You're telling me he's supposed to let go right now and let the yeah. player just not get tackled. Yeah. There is because, nothing because wrong with this hit. Knee. Because no. it's below the knee. He can't, he can't wrap up. You're, it's like it's like saying if you're a D lineman and you're going after the quarterback, the ball's still in his hands and he's he's cranking it back to throw it and he hasn't thrown yet. Well, you know, he hasn't thrown yet, so you can get him in the head. Because he hasn't thrown the ball yet, you can get him in the head. Of course you can't get him in the head. Of course you can't get him in the knee. You can't do it. It's illegal. That's why he, I'm not saying the refs are perfect, but that's why he was flagged. For the for roughing the passer. And he's a repeat offender, so I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt on this one. I'm sorry. This is a third one. He he rolled into Drew Brown and knocked him out of the game. He knocked uh, Kolaris out of the game last game with a headshot, and it was a headshot. And you and I agree on that. This was a dirty play, I think. I I, I think you fought valiantly, Darren, but I'm going to squeak this one out. Oh, last man. second, last second field goal, Castillo from from Dude. 60 yards. I know it's it's to, to what I will secede is that we should never analyze plays by purely by slow motion or purely by still image. But you're telling me that a player's chest is on a quarterback's thigh, not knee. Hang on. Here he is. Right there. This is his chest. Chris Strebler's knee is the blue, okay? And you're telling me you want him to not finish this tackle. That's what you're telling me. You're telling yeah, me I you am. do not want him to finish this tackle. That's exactly what I'm saying. Dude, you can't play football that way. You cannot play the game of football like you're saying. That you hit somebody and then you stop. You Lions can't. Do it all the time they let up on a quarterback all the time, Darren. Especially with the if the if you know if the head is exposed, they let up all the time. Yeah, completely disagree. Completely disagree. All I gotta say is this: Regina, experience Regina. Yes, sir.